Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving, no, I'm um, showing you how to make a little special background and I'm also going to be doing an updated how, like, how to make an icon. Um, I have that one, yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, firstly, if you want like a little patch up on your background, I'm going to be doing the background first because it's been requested on my channel, and like I've already done the icon, but I'll still do that. If you want an LPS on your icon, a uh, background, sorry, background, background, then just like yeah, get it and save it i'm not gonna save this one but yeah then go to pixlr.com i'll leave the link in the down bar description whatever you want to call it and i'll actually do that this time so pixlr see that's how you spell it p-i-x-l-r.com <coughs> and then sorry um it's a 47 a.m. So yeah, <laughs> open photo editor. Then you go create a new image. Um, for the background, you want to put height 2100 and width 2100. So you get one looking like this. Um, then you go to file, which is up here. Open image. So you'll open your little patch up that you want to put on the background and if you don't want to put a little patch up on your background you can just skip this step um so i might put uh this one so then you would put this one the marquee tool and just draw a little box around your lps and then just let go this is the moving tool, you click that, move it, drag it onto here, see it's only a little tiny one. And for it to be on your channel, I reckon you wouldn't see it there. Basically you wouldn't really see it anywhere you put it because it's pretty, still pretty big. But your comments are around here maybe, if like your channel is set out like mine. Um, <clears throat> where the channel comments are there. Um, so yeah, you would probably put it around there, but if you don't want to patch up on your background, you just don't do that step. Then, yeah, um, onto the background. So you're, you'll be on layer one if you did put a little patch up on your background. If you didn't, you'll just be on the layer background. But, you need to go to your layer box and click on background. Now you um, go to this one if you want like to fill the shapes in or something. This is just a random color, so like excuse my poor color choosing. <coughs> um, yeah, and you would say border size none. <laughs> yeah, that was a fail. That's right. Okay, um, and then see, look, this will go, yeah, behind it. Um, or if you don't want to do that, then you can just, like, do gradient. Um, so here's your gradient tool over there. Um, just choose a gradient, drag it across. And this step, like, making the background like the background of the background if that makes sense sort of applies to the icon too and then yeah it'll look like that then you'll want to go to your um layer one again <coughs> sorry my voice is mm. um and then you want to go to the magic wand tool and click and then go to your eraser which is here um, and then, yeah, just erase, I might need a bigger eraser, tee hee, um, no, only 200 then, okay, 
Sorry, my computer's laggy, which is annoying, but you know. Yeah, so once you're happy with what it looks like, um, you can put text on it. So the little text tool is down here, or you can go to Picnic. <clears throat> but that will be closing in April. So I'll show you how to put the text on with the icon, but with, um, I'll just, for the background, I'll do it with Pixlr. Because um, with your background, someone can copy and paste your background. It's not like your icon where you have your name on it. So yeah. And then you will need to put size up right to like there maybe. Um, and then you can choose the color. But I really recommend Picnic to do your um, uh, text. And then you can move it around with the move tool up here and make sure you're on Alex LPS 34 or whatever you called it layer it'll have the A there and you can just click and drag it where you want um, <clears throat> then that's done and you can close it and save it um, yeah okay so yeah no I don't um and make sure you get the LPS picture off of Nicole's LPS blog otherwise it won't be the right size for your icon or background so that's really important to get it off of Nicole's LPS blog I'll put the link in the description <coughs> oh, sorry Ugh. okay now for the icon um, you want to go to create a new image 800 by 800 so this is the icon that we're doing now um yeah and then file open image go to um whatever one you want to do say i'm going to be doing this one okay so then you go to crop but I don't normally crop it, I just do the marquee tool straight away. Then you go to the marquee tool, which is this one, click drag a box over it <coughs> again, and then move it with the move tool up here again. And then see it's the right size for an icon. You put it where you want it, um, then go to the layer background, then you can do your gradient your filly shape thingy um yeah and then click drag it across and don't worry about this white box it's just from the snail picture here um then you go back to layer one um the little uh wandy thingy click the eraser and see how the eraser is big and with the background it was smaller it's because of the size with the thingy and then you can still move it around with the move tool if you need to like if you want to move it down here that's fine um you would probably erase that little bit from the neck erase up here and then you're done with that and then you save it <coughs> Sorry if I spelled that wrong. Format PNG. Same for the background. Make sure it's the PNG. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> and then to picnic.com, I'll put the link in the description. And don't worry if you're watching this after April, picnic's closed. So, yeah, if the link doesn't take you anywhere, that's fine. Just use Pixel. Okay. Um, so, open <coughs> your picture which is this one and then you go to text type in whatever epic snail dude whoops snail dude you press add um, then you can scroll through the um, uh, um, text options right bleh that was a word vomit yeah so you can do whatever and then you can change the color see like they have heaps more 
text options than Pixlr, that's why I recommend it. And it's just really, it's easier to do it on Picnic. And then you can do effects, goofy, etc. Okay, that looks scary. That is scary. I'm gonna pixelate that because you're scary. You are just oh crap. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Reverse effect. Yeah, just pixel out this person, the snail, so nobody can see it. Tee <laughs> It's really scary, and also if you do make a mistake, like you can press undo. No! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so then you press, so it would have been on edit, press save and share. Save photo, PNG. PNG! Okay, um, yeah, sorry for scaring people. Um, and save, and if it already exists, say yes, blah blah blah. And you're done. Woo! Sorry for an 11 minute video with me rambling on about how to make a background and icon. I could have made I could have made two separate videos, but I didn't. Go me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll probably end this video now because I'm not going to look forward to editing editing this video. <gasps> and oh, <clears throat> all of my comments. Sorry. It's just that I've got ones from like five days ago. I'm so slow at <laughs> uh, answering comments. Okay, look, I'll show you. Five days ago. Okay. Well, bye, guys. Hope you learned something from this. Um, have any questions? Put them in the comments section down below. Yeah. Okay, guys. Bye.